All right, welcome back to the channel. Marcus Dunk here, and uh, thanks for tuning in again. Today, we have uh, a very special guest here, um, one of our clients, uh, Ismail. So um, Ismail was absolutely crushing it over the last couple of weeks, the last couple of months with uh, um, remote high-ticket sales. And uh, yeah, Ismail, welcome. I'm super excited to have you on the channel and have this interview today and talk a little bit more about your story. Um, you know, this is a very special moment for me. Yeah. I was looking um, a lot forward to this and then having you on to the interview and chat with you and talk about your story. So um, yeah, I would say let's let's jump right in. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me here. I'm really excited to be here. I was for a long time talking about this, but yeah, I'm super excited to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Cool. Um, so yeah, tell me, how much exactly have you made over the last couple of months uh, from, from closing high ticket deals? Well, like every month is different. Um, I was always like between like five, seven K, you know, a month um, because I choose to honestly, because I work less hours. This is what I did. You know, I start my journey right now traveling, a lot of things going on. But uh, in the meantime, just keeping my lifestyle, living the life that I want, you know, this is exactly what I want. So this is my choice and I like what I'm doing so far. So pretty much this is what I'm always like playing on, like between five to seven K. Awesome, man. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive, man. And uh, also consider considering your background, you know, uh, where are you originally from? Oh, yeah, from Morocco. <laughs> from Morocco. From wow. Morocco, yes. And uh, I, used, I used to work like a 95 job. Uh, as you know, before I was working as a, as a marketer. Um, the moment I met you, you know, I was working as a marketer. But uh, yeah, since we met then, everything has changed. Since our first call, I uh, will never forget, uh, right. everything has changed. So everything has changed. My whole entire life has changed. Yeah. So that's my background I'm as a Moroccan guy. <laughs> yeah. I've been it right now. Yeah. Now you're here in Mexico with us for the interview. Yeah. Um, your first time really also traveling really like yeah. to, to, to another continent. Um, how is it for you? Like, well, I mean, it was super special. You know, it's something that I was dreaming about since I started with you. Um, of course, I've been inspired with, with, uh, with what you are doing yourself, traveling the world, discovering other cultures, meeting other people. And uh, as someone who is like very, I really appreciate like the, the proximity and being around the like minded people. I, I mean, we've been talking between, uh, between, like, uh, between us since I started with you, and uh, I was just like suffering. I don't have like like a mind people around me in Morocco and everything was virtually and uh, I was I was looking forward like to have like like a mind people like like me, like around me physically. Yes. Which is very important, you know. So yeah, two months of lockdown. I'm not two months, but two years of lockdown in Morocco. You also couldn't get out, right? Out of yeah. the country. That was also a big big problem. It is a big problem, yes. So I was stuck there. But finally like since because I was following up always with those, and I want to go out, I want to go out. So the moment they told me, now you can go out, I was the first one watching my application, and uh, I made it, and I'm super happy. And you know, my reasons, oh, one of my reasons, of course, is to meet you in person. You know, it's been a lot to me. So, yeah, that's very special thing to do, actually, in my life. Very, very special. For me as well. It was a very special moment meeting you in person. You know, we always just saw us, like, virtual on camera and yeah. had a lot of conversations there. Then meeting in person is, is um, yeah, something really, really beautiful, really emotional as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's awesome. Tell us a little bit, like, um, what exactly have you been doing before we met? Like, how was your life there? What have you been doing? Um, you know, how was your financial situation as well? Your career? What what have you been up to? Yeah, before we met. Yeah, so I grew up on a town in in in, in Morocco, not yeah. in like a city. Um, there's not no much people. We grow up in a big family it's not uh, it's actually multiple family in big house ah so multiple families living in like one exactly in a very big house of course you have your own place but uh it's still like not your own okay yeah and um the thing is i grew up there i studied um i was studying hard but i didn't, never know what i was studying okay everything just just flow go with the flow everyone studying that okay so let's study yeah um yeah, I grew up there since I was like 11. I was already like spending the whole, the whole like week by myself, taking care like, because the school was too far from my house. So I have to be in the place in the, in my school for a whole week. And uh, the thing is, it's actually been my personality. Me, like being independent, taking care of myself since when I was like 11 years old. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So I spent, I did like the same 
way like for six uh, six uh, years me studying in that place uh, I got my degree and then I moved on to the university then I moved to the city mm. okay, university was in city I get there exactly and I had there is the city in Morocco where exactly, exactly. Yes. I yeah. got there yes so I I started there in my university I studied like biology um, like long like story short um, I mean after three years of studying um my my mother comes to to this in the city with me so she lives with me she still lives there and um yeah like after that I, I was actually planning to move on to ukraine to finish like my like my studies to be like a dentist this is what you wanted to be a dentist yes i didn't know that one that i was the planning yeah. to be like a dentist and yeah. uh suddenly like i prepared everything or everything they have to do like to prepare and uh, since like well for the last week I I have to move to Ukraine, like for example, the next week. There is a problem that happens, a family problem happens, and we lost a lot of money. And uh, unfortunately, I was not able to fly. And uh, you know, I was all I was already thinking there, you know, looking for properties where I have to where I have to stay and all of yeah. that. But if, unfortunately, I was not. This caused me to be depressed. I was depressed, very very depressed for like six months. And just my mother was taking care of me. I'm so grateful for my mother. And um, yeah, like in that time, honestly, everything starts happening because uh, I, st- I studied a lot of uh, personal development books, mm-hmm. okay? Like uh, Think and Grow Rich, The yeah. Richest Man in Babylon. Napoleon Hill. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yes. Robert Kiyosaki. Yeah. Exactly. I love those books. I was studying. So it starts opening me up a little bit mm-hmm. about, the, about what's going on. Uh, so. The thing is, after that six months, I was I was searching. I convinced myself, okay, I should do something in my life. I I should not like continue like doing the same, doing just sitting here, not doing nothing. So I start searching. I don't have my laptop. I don't love to why you in university <laughs> searching, trying to do something. So I tried a lot of different businesses. Honestly, like since 2018 to 19, before I met you, I tried everything to generate money, and I lost a lot of money too. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like AdSense arbitrage, CPNH work. Uh, I tried affiliate marketing. I tried to manage some websites. I used to work in uh, WordPress. Yeah. Right, some websites, some like uh, travel ag- agencies there in Morocco. Yeah, which is which is fine. I guess I start getting like money, but in the meantime. It's it's not it's not. I mean, I'm always looking for more. Yeah, was, it was it was not enough. It was okay, but it was not really. It wasn't getting enough. you forward. Yeah. yeah, and with with ClickBank, with a lot of other businesses, I lost a lot. I really lost a lot because yeah, I mean, you have to prepare before the, you to launch your business. You have to have everything with you. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, I launched the the thing. Nothing go well, Nothing works. Nothing move on. And I basically it's because I don't know and I never ask for help and yeah. I, I didn't even I was not even thinking to ask someone for help yeah this is right. this is the right this a lot of time when people get started they think oh well I can do it myself and they believe the idea of a self-made success and I really truly believe there is no such thing as like self-made success there are always people around you who are supporting you um uh, like all of the people that I know who are very successful they always had very, very strong people backing them up, whether that's their, their wife, their girlfriend, their mentors, uh, their, their their friends or, or business partners or something like that, you know, so. Yeah, this is, the, and as well, like, again, to add to that, like, what's the mindset problem? I was always entering, like, businesses just to, to get money, you know? Yeah. I was just for money, nothing else, honestly. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that was a big, big mistake. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. To... What's the better approach? So, uh, if if someone is watching this right now and they kind of can relate to your story, or they're just beginning their entrepreneurial journey, yeah. what's a better approach? Yeah, a uh, good question. The thing is, I mean, I'm always from my experience. Okay, yeah, absolutely it works. Your experience, yeah. <laughs> First, you have to be clear exactly on what you want. Okay, you really have to be clear what you want. So, coming back to my story, I was like, well, like I was working as a digital marketer when I met you. Uh, the thing is, um, I was searching about clothing. Mm-hmm. So I already, I wore, like, I already convinced myself. I saw like Dan Lok talking about clothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. K one K Bradley. Yeah. All of those legends in the market, yeah. and I really appreciate them. You know. So the first time I know, like, the first time I heard clothing was actually from Dan Lok. Yes. And then I was just watching videos, reading, doing like research about clothing. What is clothing? So, like, in the end of 
2000, like 19, I almost like convinced myself, okay, this is exactly what I want. I was dreaming about it. So I know that's what I want. Okay. Yeah. And the second step you have to do, it's not how, it's who. And how, who is the person that can help you and uh, can help you shortcut like the, the journey. And I'm glad that, that we did it. You know, I'm really, really glad and super grateful that we did it. So we made a black like, story. It's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit funny. Uh, in the end of 2019, I think it was around Christmas. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. In the new year. My year. Yes. yes. In, yep. the, in the new year, the last week in 2019. Yeah. I still remember I've been in Tangier mm-hmm. working in 95 and I'm, I started getting attraction or something inside me like, okay, you have to do something about clothing. So at that day, at that week exactly, uh, I posted in the, in the group of Kai Von K. I still remember that one of my goals is actually learn about clothing. Yeah. It's like New Year's Relation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I posted in the group and uh, after that, like after a while, I think it just what I was post like in the evening and uh, uh, the other guy who like texted me back, he said, man, uh, I see that one of your goals is actually learn clothing. I know someone who actually can help you uh, to learn clothing. I said, oh, that's that's awesome. I like, okay, let's do it. Yeah, I would love that. So he connected us. And then we connected and, and made them to a different Jump on a call. Yeah. I don't know what happened in that club. I mean, with my broken language at that time. Yeah. Yeah. But I was super like excited talking to you, honestly. Super excited. I'm happy that you closed me. <laughs> really, really happy and grateful to close me. So yeah, after that, uh, I quit my job. Like I still remember that was in the, the weekends, like Friday, Sunday, Sunday. I made a decision to from like on the Monday morning. I didn't go to the job. I said, Okay, I'm quitting my job. I just texted them by email, I'm not going anymore. Yeah, sorry for that, guys. And uh, <laughs> I changed my city, so I, I changed completely. You know, in that week, I moved on to Agadir again to my city because I was working in Tangier. Wow! So yeah. lots of things happening. A lot of things happening. But I, I, like at this moment, I start feeling something different inside me. You know, mm-hmm. starting like I know my, my journey. It's a, it's a little bit different. Right. We can talk about that. About. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I changed my city because I was struggling with my English. And this might be funny, but Corona actually, it's a huge advantage. Why? Because since Corona hit, uh, my whole entire time was going to learn English and and closing. So it's like I see right it's like the process for me. Instead of meditation years, yes. it took just six months, you know? Yeah. So yeah, um, that's that's pretty much like what happens before, like uh, in the process of meeting with you and working with you. Yeah. Where was your income like back then? Yeah, uh, I was I was generating four hundred, like four hundred, like four hundred dollars. Yes. Yeah. In in Morocco, it's like four thousand dirhams. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah, it's four hundred. What's the average uh, wage? Like, what are people usually who have a well-paid job, or let's say they're doctors or something like that, and and I got uh, in, in Morocco or in your city? How much are they usually earning there? Well, um, the doctors, I think they earn. Uh, they earn good money, uh, mm-hmm. probably like two thousand, something like that. Yeah, but it's a lot of work. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working the whole day, you know, taking care of. Uh, yeah, but yeah, on average, to answer your question, I mean, me, I was I was I was generating like four hundred US dollar, mm-hmm. and um, on average, you know, the minimum wage is like around three, like three hundred fifty well, US dollar. Yeah, Sam. You know, so it's like me, I was doing better, you know, yeah, that's, I like a little bit better than the average. Yeah. A little bit better. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but the doctors, they will, uh, they will make like around between 1,000 to 2,000. 1 to 2,000. Yeah. yeah. And just as a reminder, how much you're making now? Oh, I mean, right now, which, I mean, the last month was 5K. 5K. Yeah. yeah. But the best thing with it, like, it just, I mean, I work, I oh, man, I join my time here and they work just the hours that I like. <laughs> I on average like three, four maximum five hours you know for my influencer but your best month was seven yeah but last month was five yeah because you took some time off and you came here exactly okay yeah that makes sense and that's that's normal i mean it was always go up and down yeah but it's by choice actually it's really by choice love it man that's that's amazing cool um so if you like if we're looking back and i know you like you, you story and your journey is very um different from most people i mean you're coming from morocco where we met your English was not really, really where it is today. You worked a lot, you improved a lot. Yeah. Um, but looking back at the mentoring program and your journey and and um, 
everything that we worked through over the last couple of years. Uh, and also you have been an amazing client. I want to give you credit for that here right now. You're an amazing person, amazing friend right now. Um, what was like the biggest learning that, um, that you got from, from our mentoring? I'm, or maybe the like two biggest learnings if you want, or yeah. I think there is a lot because everything I learned, everything that I'm doing right now from, from the program and from you personally being, uh, being around you. So yeah, I mean the power of proximately, I think this was, that was very, very like great things that, I mean, just being around the people, I, I'm someone who's appreciate like the environment and the people that I'm talking to. Mm-hmm. I still remember when I, when we met, yeah, I mean, we have, we have our group and yeah. there is just a like amount of people. There is nothing going around that like closing. Everyone is talking about goals. But I started feeling, okay, this is exactly what I want. Mm-hmm. I'm, of course, you go outside in my country and uh, I mean, the type of conversations are just uh, like, uh, man, see, that's not, I, uh, I feel sometimes me sitting with a uh, with friend, the old friends there that, oh my God, this is my, you will not belong here. That's not for you. I already told you what happened before I come. Yeah. So. Yeah, I appreciate being a very like in a very like great community with people. The like I mind people, this is super valuable for me. That was helping me a lot. Uh I still remember the lot the first like the first couple of weeks, two weeks uh in the program working in the mindset. Mm-hmm. As someone who is obsessed, very obsessed with this like topic mindset, that's was that was gold for me. That was really gold for me. And working with you, of course, closely, like uh seeking goals. Like sitting plans, you know, I never said like put a plan and what I want to do and w- just have more clarity in my life. And we know clarity is power. Yes. So yeah, I can see like working in mindset, uh, in, in the program that was super valuable as well as our environment, our environment, it's, it's a gaunt, really it's a gaunt. It's even like a diamond, I think, <laughs> because yeah, man, it's, it's super valuable. Uh, the other thing it's of course, um, working with you personally. You know, I still remember, uh, since I started getting like my, my, my English started getting better. Uh, so you said, okay, right now it's, it's good. You said, we can start in teaching her. I was in no place at that time. Yeah. And you said, okay, right now I think you will be like uh, great to apply and do some, just jump to some opportunities. And, uh, at that time, I still remember me having like a one-on-one call with you every week. I was just like boss to you, you know, that's, that's amazing. Getting a plan from you, like sitting, sitting, uh, like uh, weekly goals and more fun, like executing because there is nothing is going on in my life. I was very committed, honestly. Yeah, to that. absolutely. I can confirm that. Yeah. Um, the power of showing up, we talked about that a lot. Yeah. Uh, you probably haven't missed a single call in like the very first year or even more that we had. So, um, a hundred percent. Yeah. I took advantage of the, of the, opportunity, of the opportunity, the opportunity, really, I took advantage. So yeah, to show this out, like, uh, environment, working in mindset, working like with you personally, having someone who was who are doing it and you learn from them, you know, it's a very great concept that I think like everyone from now, like if someone is watching, like you want to learn something like closing, copywriting, whatever you want to learn, find someone who is doing that fast to find someone who is like crushing it in there and you feel yourself with that person, go for it. Like invest in that, in that person and learn. I think that you will save a lot of time for yourself and a lot of pain, a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Mistakes that also cost you money at the end of the day, right? That's exactly. The only thing that, that really, um, <laughs> one want to consider is there a different, you could do, go do a course, you know, you could re, um, you could learn from a book. Yeah, you could learn from a mentoring program and it's really what is the right thing for you, okay? If you're struggling a lot financially and you have don't have any money to, money to invest into yourself, what's the easiest way? Maybe you just get a book for 20 bucks and implement whatever you read in a book, right? If you have $100 available, you might even get your foot in the door with a course, like a kind of a cookie cutter thing, one size fits all. We don't really have accountability. You can't reach out to everyone. But if, if it's really about results, you, and you invest high ticket in yourself, first of all, what happens? You put leverage on yourself. So, so you force yourself to, to actually execute um, because you, you invest it into yourself uh, and, and, in, and into the person. Um, and you're also getting a more higher level solution to your problem. You actually have someone that you can just give a call and reach out to if you need help, you know, and, and someone who knows you as a person, gets to know you as a person a lot more than if you would be one out of a thousand or 2000 people in a program and 
the person who's running the program or who's teaching it, they don't even they don't even know the name of your siblings or something like that. They don't they don't they don't know anything about your personal life, right? And what I figured out um, now, as we're doing that for a couple of years already, and we have more and more clients that and, and successful clients that go through the program, oftentimes what people are struggling with is really personal problems that are bleeding into their professional life or into their career and then prevent them from actually executing. Now, is that something that, that I really um, picked up on? And with you, <laughs> man, we went through so many challenges together from closing English visa stuff, um, receiving your paycheck, your big paychecks in Morocco. And we're like, okay, how are we going to do that? So we figured it all out. Um, and um, yeah, it's just incredible how amazing you're implementing that. Yeah. And yeah. we're just getting started, you know? Yes. Yeah. We're just getting started. Uh, yeah. You know what's going on. We're just getting started. And uh, of course, just go back to what, like, what you said right now, of course, like uh, in the like internet right now, I mean, you can, there is no reason like uh, all excuses right now that you have to make to start something. I think there is uh, there is everything there. Okay, at yeah. least start somewhere. Yes, you know right. I started learning from other people, following them instead of like following other celebrities or something. I was following like other people like in the in the in the internet, and uh, I I started getting information, having a clear idea. I think like before I met you, I had like some clarity, uh, not not totally, but some clarity just by me following those guys, you know. Yeah, and getting some searching about the, about what I want to do. But of course, after we met, we accelerate everything. We took everything to the next level. So yeah, the thing is, for now, I just say like there is no reason for anyone to to change his life and do something that he wants right now. And uh, I started. I I still I still remember. I had a lot of limiting beliefs coming from Morocco. I never. I know it. It's really hard limiting. I mean, I saw that from like every like team that I'm working with. Every like. Uh, of course, we work with clients, and they saw that from clients. You know, people that come with a lot of limiting beliefs, they stop them. They, they don't believe that they can do it, which is yeah. the biggest like problem a lot of them face. So, so the moment they switch that to like, okay, now I can, uh, I can do it. Yes, I saw like the moment that someone who never closed, for example, me, I never, I never had like a serious call before. Yes, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, I never had nothing, and uh, the moment I start like getting attraction, I. Just, it just it's just like a fuel putting fuel uh, into yeah. uh, you know the tank and uh, hit the gas. I say, oh my god, this is working. And for of course, for example, me like my first day was like I'm in commission on my first day. I still remember the call and everything uh, was four hundred. Yeah, and it was similar to my salary. And I was making that for like one one call, forty five minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. in one call, I said, oh, I was crying that time, and uh, my mother was with me. And they was just, oh my God, this, after six months of, because I never generated money, honestly. I never generated money in this six months. And uh, seeing that is working, it just changed my whole entire life. I was super happy. I still remember talking my mother outside, uh, having a great time together, enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, still uh, just start thinking about like uh, the thing that I can do with this that I have right now. Yeah. Because... It's in me. At least it's, yeah, no one can take it from you. Exactly. Really. Yeah, no one can take it from me. So yeah, that's super emotional and I'm so proud that I did it. And I'm so Absolutely, happy. man. I'm super proud of you too, you know, like Thank you. And, and that's always what I say, you know, what's your excuse? You know, look at Ismail, you know, where he's coming from, his story, his background, us, um, growing up uh, in, in, in not the optimal conditions really in terms of the environment, the mentality and all of that. Um making it all the way now here to Mexico and you're crushing it. And your first deal where you made 400 bucks, which was basically, this was a big key moment for you. Yeah. And you, you generated this, the same amount of money that you did previously in an entire month. Yes. And now if I think back, a like last month, there was a very special day for me. It was actually my birthday. I don't know if you remember. Yes. Um, and it was a very special day for you. And yes. th there, something happened there what was probably the best gift that you could have done for me on my birthday. Uh, do you want to, do you want to share that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was very special day. First of course, by, uh, it was your birthday. I mean, you don't know what we've been planning. Every <laughs> I had no idea. It was a surprise party. Yeah, I was very, very <laughs> excited. 
and uh, I still remember having a call in the in the ear, like afternoon, having a call with that guy, and uh, of course, basically, to show the cat this, he was closing just like biggest deal ever, which is the thirty k, which is like uh, closing for an event uh, for my client, for my influencer Brian Rose and Jordan Belfort mastermind, thirty k paid in full and making three thousand dollar, in just less than fifteen minutes call, and I was just, <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah, you know. So, of course, we live it up. We are, we are getting there. I just like break through a moment again for me to the next level. Yes. Yeah. Because if you do it once, you can do it twice. You can, you can do it three times. Yeah. And you can do it multiple times. Exactly. Yeah. So, I was, I was already in, like waiting just for the evening to have like yeah. that, you know, uh, but having the call and closing that deal. And it just, it just, I don't know. I'm I was super high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my energy was just up and, uh, yeah. And meeting you again in the evening, uh, like with, uh, with the other members in our family, having a great time. Yeah, it, man, that's, that's a really nice day. <laughs> Very Congrats, man. Day, yes. Super, super proud of you. Super proud of how far you've come as well. Um, and congrats for the 30k deal. I really think it's a, it's a great milestone for you, just the next milestone. And, and we're not going to stop here. Yeah. Now you have a few things cooking. Yeah, yeah let's, let's wait. Maybe you have you back on an interview in a couple of months. Yes. Um, one thing that I wanted to touch on now, because you mentioned that before that it was the first time that you were back then when you made your first close, you know, you closed your first deal. It was your first 500 bucks that you made from the new skill that you learned with an accent, you know, with still your English not being really, really there where you want it to be. Yeah. Um, your mom was there, yeah. right? And there was a moment as well that was very emotional for me when you actually sent me a picture of you and your mom. Do you want to tell a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it was actually the day like I received my, my paycheck, actually, uh, because my, my the deal, like the, the the first deal was in the end of the month, okay? Mm -hmm. So just the only yeah. deal. And for me, like making like 400 at that time was, oh my God, that's super, that's super cool. Like in one call, making, oh my God, I'm going to celebrate it. Yeah. So I've been struggling to receive the money yeah. For, yeah. for a long time. Um, my banks, I mean, this is something that you know already by just yeah. sharing all of that things with you. Yes. Uh, you can receive a lot of uh, money there in the, my bank and um, we figured it out. We figured out like to get a solution. Yep. And the moment I received the money, yeah, what I did was just, okay, let's go, my mother, let's go outside. And I went like to the very nice restaurant there in my city, Agadir. And we had an amazing time. We went together and uh, yeah, it was very emotional time, emotional time, like with her, just talking with her, you know, talking with her. I was not talking about like, I was talking about the future. Yeah, because I see like what happened. Yeah, she don't know. I mean, she, she I mean, she don't know what I, what I'm doing. You know, yeah. And I mean, she's just she, it's a different generation as well. My mom as well. My mom doesn't really understand. Yeah. Uh, like what 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 we are doing exactly? She doesn't really understand. It's a different generation. But uh, yeah. But yeah, she she I was talking differently. She told me, man, it's my like you're looking different. I said yes. Everything is different. Everything is different right now. My mother, everything would change and. Uh, yeah, this is just the beginning. We just started. So, yeah, that was super emotional, actually. And uh, I talk about, like, every week, every day we go out, like, yeah. right now, if I'm in Morocco. Yeah, of course, I'm right now in Mexico. But when I was in Morocco, I was just taking care of her, like, going out, having a great... She used to, actually, right now, she's asking me, Ismail, where are we going right now? <laughs> oh, I said, yeah, of course, I have a really nice place. Let's go. And I always like to go to very nice luxury places right now. Yes. As we used to talk, like just programming ourselves. Yeah. Being conf like being confident and relaxing, being in that on those places. I think it's helped me a lot. Yeah. I guess it's, especially if, if you have never like done something like this before, if you usually don't go to like very nice places, if you're watching this right now, you always go to the cheapest restaurant that you can find. Um, do it. Like go to a place that is kind of very where you will feel uncomfortable where you push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone maybe you just order a coffee or something like that at the beginning if you if you haven't closed deals yet like Ismail but um but expose yourself to these places right because it's doing something with it you. is it is doing and I'm sure I was sharing with you everything I was good doing like to the showroom like well, cars yes maybe I below that <laughs> uh, I love like going and see like cars putting my hands in the wheels enjoy yeah having test drives so 
Yeah, after like after a while, me trying that, I bought my first car. You know. Yes, I remember you did that back in November, wasn't it? Yes, before my birthday. I still remember. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, crazy? I was thinking, okay, so right now, you build the momentum. I'm very confident in what I'm doing. Yeah, man, I I, I want to move like I want to make things fast. It was like investment for me, honestly. I I just figured out like car was this investment for me at that time. Still have a really great investment for me. It's just the way how you see it. Uh, but for me, it was was super funny. Like, yeah. okay, investing. I still remember going to my bank asking for that money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's around like ten thousand. Yeah, okay, and the, the lady she was okay. Can you put on your, uh, Can you put off your money? <laughs> and is it really you? <laughs> yeah. Is it really you? Uh -huh. Yeah, I said okay. It was in another city, and in Marrakesh, and <laughs> that was just a funny story, honestly. <laughs> Uh, like putting off my mask, she was, she was, she was looking to me. She was all looking to my bank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. This is you. And again, the money, put the money in, uh, in my bag and, uh, was going out to buy the car. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't like good driver Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at that time. But I said, if I, if I, if I don't drive, if I'm not driving right now, my car, if I did something, that's fine. It's your car. It's my car. No one can judge me. and can't Right. And I did it. I drove my car for around like 300 kilometers to other city. <laughs> and I find my mother waiting for me outside. Oh, it's my mother's out car. So yeah, that was super nice. Very nice. So back then, you know, I was before that, I was going to the showrooms, putting my hands in like, just feeling like my CF4 locks mm -hmm. and uh, visualizing like visualizing. you belong here. Exactly. We love cars. They know shop cars. Yeah. <laughs> and they love being there. Um, the other thing that I was doing like recently, which is like related to real estate, uh, which is going to like biggest buildings, see like just realize how things go in. Like it's a big, I mean, in this place too, it's a very, yeah, it's a nice real place. Plus, yeah. plus actually for me, just busting me, not yeah. even in this girl, very great place. So yeah, this is what I'm doing recently because we got to talk about that. Of course, that's my next step. Yeah, so man, yeah. that's that's super super inspiring, uh, especially the story with your car and, and all of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, right now, w one more question: like, what does your family say now about your progress? Like, your mom, you know, um, the the people around you, maybe friends from before, like, do they know about your success, or uh, what do they say about your success? Or because you also were having a um, a speech, I think you were um, you had a talk in yeah. in, in in Morocco uh, in one of the co working spaces that you've been before you came here. Yeah, everything. so um, I mean, lots of things have changed. A lot. So, what does your family say? What yeah. You so, like, there is two parts of my story. Okay. Before I was getting results. Yeah. What's well, completely different things? Yeah. You know, a lot of questions. They've been asking me quite a lot of questions. Aren't Aren't you going to go outside to find a job? Yeah. You know, that was like everywhere, you know, my mother was not actually asking me, which is, I mean, my, I'm so glad for having for that. Like my mother, honestly, you are super amazing. You were, I want you to know that you are a huge part of my journey. Um, yeah, she was not questioning me. She was taking care of me. It was just pure love between us. And, uh, she didn't, she didn't know what I was doing until now. I mean, so far she, I mean, I know she would never know because she really wouldn't understand the business things. Yeah. Um, before that, yeah, it was very difficult. Me going, for example, to events, family events like mm -hmm. weddings or something, just someone invited you. Yeah. I would, I mean, sitting and they would always like come to you. Oh, Ismail, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I did that question. <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Why you will not find like a job, a normal job and uh, live your life? They, because normal job for them, you have to go outside like spend the whole day outside working for someone. That was the normal thing, you know, that was, even like I still remember when I was starting getting results and living my life, I mean, having money in my bank, enjoying my time. One of them, like, what I can say big, like all the guy in my family, and uh, he's asking me, I, the thing is, the, the other guy, it, it was two guys, okay, it's my uncle, yep. and the, the, the other one, it's family of my uncle. It's, um, it's, um, a father of, of the of the wife of my uncle. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. So we've been meeting together in my city, Agadir. And my uncle knows well, that I'm getting tractions here. Yes, because I'm, uh, it's it close, it closest to me, like, even more than, uh, like, my father, honestly, because mm -hmm. he was taking care of me where, when my father was not there. Yeah. So I was sharing with him everything, and he was a, he's a very nice guy. 
So he told me, Ismail, what are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we meet in the, in the market. Yes. And see, what are you doing here? Why are you not going to manage to find a job? And I was just, oh my God, again, this question. Yeah, yeah. Again, this question. And my uncle knows that I, I already like, I'm doing great. Okay? Yeah. And he was laughing. I was laughing too to my uncle. I said, oh my God, what I, what I have to do? And he said, I mean, he, he take care of that. Okay. He said, come on, come on. That's why you go. I know, <laughs> now I know what you're doing right now. So it's a different. Mm-hmm. Because those people that are close to you, they have to share results, honestly. Yeah. The moment they start seeing results, me like generating money, taking care of myself, mm-hmm. um, like doing whatever I want, having a car, do it like traveling around, around my country. Mm-hmm. Before I was not able to travel here, I was traveling around my country. Yeah. Everything starts changing. Even the conversation with them starts changing. Okay, right now they respect you. They're not like, come to you and ask you like, "Oh, what are you doing?" Like, why? Sh- uh, no stopping question, right? Yeah. They will ask you, "How are you doing?" Yes. Oh, they are super, super proud. Actually, yeah. uh, I always knew you're gonna make it. That's the thing that they hear then, right? Like first they're like all they all like questioning you and all of that, and yes. then uh, once you once you made it, they're like, "Oh yeah, I always knew you're gonna make it." Of course. No. I mean, it's a lonely journey. I know yeah. it's not for everyone. Uh, it's a lonely journey, but it's worth it. But the moment you make it, everything will change. Absolutely. Everything will change. But at that moment, I mean, you don't need no one. At, you know, if you make it, that's fine. But you will just see the reaction of people around you. Mm-hmm. It will change very, very much. Uh, huge. They will they will give you a state in the, in the in society. will give you a state from like, oh, Ismail is doing great. After a lot of respect, a lot of, yeah. Yeah, I think... It's a very common problem that I also see, not just with you. I had the, had the same thing uh, with my parents that they were to some extent supportive, but they there were a moment where they were like, okay, so you don't make this work in this amount of time. Like, like do something else. Okay. So there was definitely pressure on, on, on like when I remember my journey back then as well. But the thing is this, oftentimes your family and your family members, they they just want you to be safe, right? They want you to be safe. They're worried about you. And, and if they want you to be safe, it also means if you play it safe, you're risk adverse. So that means you're not taking risks, okay? So they literally don't want you to take risks. But if you never would have taken the risk of actually making the jump and getting started on this journey and, and not worrying about what everyone else is saying or your family, you wouldn't be sitting here today with me. So it is not always the best advice that your family is giving to you because chances are they have never really invested in themselves heavily or or worked on themselves extensively uh, to turn their life around so it's very difficult for them to understand it and the best thing that you can really do if you're watching this right now um, is just prove them wrong by getting results like real tangible results and and just prove it to yourself and prove it to them like you basically did because results speak louder than words right Exactly. Um, what does your day-to-day life look like right now, Ismael? Well, in Mexico? Yeah, right now. Like, uh, I mean, well, I mean, you made 5K uh, last month. So I was working. What did you do next to it? <laughs> <laughs> I was working like around like three, four hours, honestly. Not that much. Yeah. Because I come here, of course, I don't have reasons. I want to meet you. I want to have a good time yeah. and see like new culture here in Mexico. <laughs> So far, and I'm impressed, and I like it. And uh, yeah, I I work like three. Uh, like I don't have my morning routine. I love to work in my mindset. It's my favorite topic. I always look wake up or like woke up like early, and um, I read my affirmation, read read my goals, and uh, of course go to the gym as well as like just just do some research about like my life because right now I'm very obsessed with mine, you know, next levels. Yes. The next steps. Next yeah. steps. Yeah. I'm very obsessed. So I took time in the morning. So it's my, my time in the morning. Mm-hmm. No one can take that time. Always like searching, setting plans, getting more clarity because clarity is power. Yeah. My joint works. So I would keep the, the same, uh, having more clarity on what's, what's the next step, what I should do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my, and before I start making my calls and uh, for, following up with my leads uh, for my influencer, mm-hmm. uh, Lona Real. So, and I have a lot of, I mean, of course, I, I love to help others, you know, I'm giving back. Yes. Of course, always following up with the Freedom Skin Masterclass members, helping them get reply to them, support them when they, when they need some support. And 
yeah, it's, it's really nice, you know, because I heard, I like that. It's 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 part of me. It's like if someone, I've been in a lot of challenges in my journey, and whatever I say, someone, it's a challenge. Most of the time, I already did that, you know. Yes, yeah. I like to see for someone, you know, show them. Okay, so this this is what even the what you need to do right now. Don't think about it. Just do it right now. Yeah, and you will see the result like after. And they always come back to me. Oh yeah, I love what I did. This what an amazing tool. Yeah, thank you so much. It just made giving mm-hmm. back. I love to give back. I love to help people. Um, in the evening, just chilling actually. Uh, yeah. um, having time, we meet a lot of time, you know. Uh, so that's pretty much mine. For the last week, of course, I'm preparing for a new opportunity, which sounds promising. Um, but yeah, th- this will be for the next uh, <laughs> next time probably. Um, so I'm investing much more time into like practicing, uh, learning new things about the new offer. <laughs> so it just me preparing, preparing for your next move, preparing yeah. your next steps, for your next level. Exactly. Yeah. So that's pretty much my day, really. That's awesome. Yeah. You also mentioned like here now we we actually invited a, th- a few. Um, a few uh, of our clients over uh, here to Mexico. Um, and what do you think so far about the community, the people that you've met in person now finally? Um, maybe a, a few sentences about that as well. Yeah, again, the the, the environment. And it's really, um, I mean, right, even having like physical, like uh, <laughs> uh, attraction, attraction between you, you know, talking with someone face to face, not like front of screen. Yeah. It's completely different. Yeah, I know there is a lot of emotions goes on like between you and the other person. And uh, yeah, I mean, I have a lot, really deep, great conversation with all of them, mm-hmm. and uh, I like, I like it so much. I, it was something that was missing in yeah. my journey. Yeah, you know, everything was, you know, by screens, you know, by Zoom, yeah. everything. Yeah. But right now, having like sitting with someone and talking, it just, I mean, it's different. It's different. It's different. I mean, you just said time to it. I think you have to put in like. The hustle period, or or um, kind of the um, the, the your rocky moment, so to speak, where you really work a lot. You know, you, it's it's really a lonely journey. Oftentimes, yeah. um, I, I'm sure you agree there with yes. me. Um, uh, there's a reason why it's called like the one percent. It is lonely at the top, right? But um, I mean, if you then come out and you and for me as well, it was super emotional meeting you in person and all of the other members as well. Um, you know, picking you up there. Uh, singing for the first time and, and, and all of that, it was almost like a dream come true, you know, it, was, it felt really unreal, um, but it was a very, very beautiful moment. Um, so Ismail, I mean, w- your jur- journey is super inspiring. And again, I always use that as examples. Like if I talk to someone and they tell me, hey, but I speak with an accent and I'm like, come on, man, like uh, talk to Ismail, <laughs> you know, like uh, look at this guy, you know, what's your excuse? Um, because your journey is really, 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 really um, also even different from my journey, you know, from coming from a middle-class family, all of that. And, and then you come from, from a country like Morocco, developing country, everything is just more difficult if you come, if you're not like uh, winning the, the lottery of birth, so to speak. We, it's, not, it's not up to us what nationality we're going to get born, right? But it's also a good example. You're the living proof. That, that if you put your mind to something, if you want to get the results and, and you find someone who can guide you through it, like nothing can stop you. And that's something that, uh, that you always say. Um, you always say, if your why is bigger than your excuses, nothing can stop you. And this is so true. And um, again, you're really just the best example for it. And, and also the smart moves that you make afterwards, you know, when we make the plan, you're now reinvesting into your language coach to get this up to par you know, working on that and now making the next move for real estate and all of that. Um, that's really, really good. What would you say to someone, <clears throat> Ismail, someone that is maybe not 100% sure or is watching this right now and they're not 100% sure about all program. Maybe I had already called with, with you if you're watching this and we were just like, oh my God, it's just a lot of money. You know, um, like what would you, what would you, would you tell to someone that is considering joining, but they, they don't know if it's maybe the right thing for them, or maybe they're thinking, maybe they're saying I can't afford it or something like that. You know, like what would you tell, tell someone like that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I understand exactly. Like, I mean, there's a lot of excuses that you can give to yourself. And I think there is unlimited excuses that you can give, that you can give yourself. I think, yeah, excuses are the, the cheapest, like, 
a product that you will find in the market because it's it's, it's free. Yeah, you have to go. And there is a limited of them. You can, I mean, of course, if I if I'm gonna make uh, like uh, like excuses, I will of course have my accent, uh, money as well, uh, my environment. I never had someone like in my country did it. I n at least I don't know. I would love to know if there is someone who is doing the same uh, as me. So I mean, there is a lot of uh, like there is a lot of excuses. I know that there is a lot of excuses, but the thing is. Um, well, this, I mean, the fear, like the, having like a fear of if it's gonna work for me or not, I just believe it's, it's very normal. It's, I mean, of course it's really, un it's hard to understand that in the first place, you know, it's hard to understand if, if this is what you want, if you find out, okay, this is what I want and you find like a program, we're going to stick to our example, of course, for free in skin masterclass and you want to be a closer and uh, you are thinking if probably like my accent will be like a, a big challenge for me or I don't have money. Well, by the way, I don't believe like money is never be the problem. Um, if you want to make it, you will make it. I'm sure like if someone who like, will watch you right now, they bought something that they can offer in the, in the, in, in his life. Something like, for example, a phone, like, yeah, like an iPhone. Or... Right. People always buy, buy stuff they cannot afford, but they find ways in how to get it. Right. Yes. So yeah. the thing is, yeah, it, you, I mean, they convince themselves that, you know, okay, I need that phone. So yeah. they make it work. Yeah. So you have to do the thing for, and right now you're doing it for your whole entire life. It's not about for buying a phone and uh, bragging or something like yeah. that, you know. It's about your life. So, I mean, it's, I know it's hard, it's not easy, but uh, I just wanted to know that fear, it's, it's very normal. We still have fears. I think everyone, like, in every, yeah. because you grow up, you don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. A lot of new things. There's always fear, but... The question, are you going to let the fear stop you? Mm -hmm. You know, I, is it worth it? You know, for example, jumping in the program for me and uh, like making that amount of money and enjoy my life coming to Mexico. Is it worth it? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's really worth it. It's really worth it. So, yeah, see the end results. And uh, I mean, that they, the only one can make a decision is you. No one else. No one mm -hmm. else can make a decision for you. But uh, again, the money, like I always like... Uh, tell you like money's never be the problem the, the accent as well like for me if someone is watching and they have like a strong accent man i mean they have, come on like there is that there is a huge opportunity in the market okay there is a huge opportunity i know it's a challenge but uh accent for me it's a huge part of my story yes yes it is huge yeah, part it is. of my story and yeah. it's it's my uh, identity Honestly. you're owning it you're just you're just owning it and you know that you speak with an accent and you're like hey that's me Yep, it doesn't make you a worse closer. You know, it's just you being authentic. Yeah, and they still remember when I was getting those, like, from the cars, you know. Mm -hmm. People, like, commenting, where are you from, and all of that stuff. And we, you know, we figured out a way to do <laughs> that. Okay, just to be honest, okay, yeah. I'm okay, yes. I do, I'm, my English is my fourth space. My, it's not my first language. I'm doing my best here. If you don't understand, just let me know. Be up yes. It works like a magic. Yeah. People just, just be, like, honest. Okay, uh, talk to them about what's going on, and uh, they will they will flow with you. Yeah. So that's that's what happened just for my accent. So accent is never be the problem for me. I know I know other closers that are crushing in that have accent. They have oh yeah, that mm -hmm. like backgrounds from different countries. They have different accents. So the accent is train. It's it's really not a problem. Uh, like you working in ninety five, it's not a problem. You can make it as well. Um, you having family, kids, I know people are crushing, yeah, having kids, yep. oh my god, I still just remember the guy from Germany, like, two, like, two kids, two dogs, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they were building a house at the same time, How yeah, and they have, like, oh my god, the story of that guy, with the arm, yeah, he was cutting his arm, yeah, that guy can make it, <laughs> yes, I can make it, like, what is your excuses, you know, yeah. really, it just, you were, like, closing yourself, and, uh, yeah, like you close your safety by a phone or a laptop, yeah. but it's like do it for your life. Yeah. This is what I'm going to say. I just, I don't believe in excuses actually. If, if you really want to make it, you will make it. Yeah. There, there are two things I quickly want to um, add to that as well. Uh, so the very first thing is um, the, the fear. Okay. So um, the fear is something like it's, it's actually false evidence appearing real. Yes. Okay. And if you, if you act against your fear, um, then you, you don't give your fear power. If you 
if you let the fear kind of intimidate you and you're not taking action against your fear, so you basically feel the fear, you do it anyways, then you're acting against it and you're not giving the fear any more power. If you, if you go back into your comfort zone, if there's a situation or you're fearful of doing a next step or making a move or making a decision or making, you may be fearful of making the wrong decision or something like that. If you, if you give power to that fear, if you feed that fear, um, you will be, if you do that over and over again, you will be finding yourself at a very dark place. And the only way to break out of that is taking action against your fear. Uh, um, that's one thing that I wanted to add on. The other thing is this with the money, you know, something that is really bizarre for me and my world, and I guess in your world as well, is there are people watching this right now, most of the time from the US, from the UK, from Australia, and formal education, traditional education, they don't even think twice about dropping 50, 60, 70, 80 thousand dollars on a college education that literally in today's world is worth nothing. Okay, if you graduate from college, uh, except you want to become a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer or something like that, then okay, maybe different story. But if you graduate from college and you put yourself in student debt, you lab your job, you take years to pay that student back, uh, debt back, okay? But, you, but you're so afraid to invest a couple of thousands into your self-education, okay? Where you, where you have real life results of other people who know they can make uh, wait, you made 7K, a traditional doctor made two. So three times more or less more than what the doctor was, ma was making in your, in your country in a short period of time. I mean, for you, you took longer than the average student because of all of these, your demographics, your accent, like there were so many things that we had to work on. But um, like usually our clients, they get results a lot faster than you. That's just how it is. But it, it just also speaks good for you and for your character that you're just persistent and you're not giving up power of showing up big quality for your personality. Um, so that's something that's very bizarre for me, okay? So they don't even think twice about dropping a, uh, like tens of thousands of dollars on formal college education. They're not even thinking twice about that. Uh, and for me, that's the biggest scam in the world because nowadays college education, it, do it doesn't work. You know, I have friends right now that, that graduated very, very well from their, from their university and they're having problems finding a job. Okay, um, so they're either overqualified and they want too much money or uh, they're getting paid too little for their, for their qualifications. And if you learn a high income skill, something that we do, high ticket sales, remote closing, however you want to call it, like you, you basically, you become a valuable person in the marketplace and uh, create your own opportunities, right? And, and if you're a valued person in the marketplace, the marketplace will reward and will pay you for that. And this is, um, the more you learn, yeah. The more you earn, the more you earn. Yeah. Correct. So, so that's that's exactly it. Uh, yeah. I mean, Ismail, um, this was a super amazing interview. Um, now, as we're wrapping it up, is there anything else that you want to share? Uh, anything else that you want uh, to mention before we uh, wrapping things up here? Mm, yeah. Um, there's many. I mean, many things, of course. Um, I mean, there've been a lot of people that have been asking me as well, like about like uh, my journey, what I was doing. Um, I think this would be a great thing to to give them right now this interview because I share a lot of things here. Um, yeah. And they've been telling me a lot of excuses. You know, I, I mean, right now, like between like between us, right now, if you talk to someone and you can hear you hear some excuse, it's like that's the part of this. This is this is yeah. something. This is something dangerous. You yeah. Know, or you can hear some limiting beliefs on someone. Yeah. Like you getting. And they hear a lot of that, you know, you can notice, you can realize that this man, he's just bashing in himself. Yeah. This is not good. Yeah. So I had a lot of people asking me, like, I, they, I had a lot of conversation with people, like, like from my country around the world, they're giving me a lot of, you know, excuses. Um, I can do it. I, you know, I, it's hard for me. I, like, again, like excuses are the cheapest products in the market there, uh, with, with the opinion as well. Yeah. And, um. What I'm gonna say to you, like, man, um, the decision it's yours. For everyone who is watching, the decision it's yours. Um, no one can make a decision for you. Um, the, in the markets, if you are thinking like, okay, about the the markets, what's in the markets? If this will, not, will work for me, will not work for me. Um, find someone. This is this is one of my biggest advantages being around like you, being around the people. Because sometimes I took your beliefs because I don't have minds, you know. Yeah, I took your beliefs and uh, just just not questioning anything. So mm -hmm. 
whatever whatever like uh, whatever like excuses do you have uh you're just slow in yourself and you, what you're just like instead of like you're changing your life you're just getting like into the average uh things every society which is not good right now um the the society has changed i think the formal education as you mentioned it's dead right now it's not working anymore the people i believe like anyone should have uh, a mentor in his life should learn something from someone who is doing the thing that they want so i think this is the great step that you can make sure shorten like the journey and learn from someone building the environment uh your love your life will will entirely change and as well like if you continue to, if you continue doing the same things that you've been doing before no one expects like new results you know yes that's the, that's the definition of insanity yes uh, according to albert einstein yeah yeah if you actually watch it and you have a 95 job or you are a student or something like that you will pay a lot of money for your school um th the thing is yeah how i can uh, rephrase that um yeah I like, again the world has changed the formal education it's not working uh you can give a lot of excuses to yourself but i want you to know that the, the like the world has changed a lot the last couple of years and i believe we change faster yeah. because we are moving faster if you stick if you stick to the old habits the old thing that you've been doing and you're dreaming right now i mean if someone who is searching or i know they will have some big goals someone who is watching right now i know you are you are not satisfied where you are which is normal okay to be in a uh, very normal state to be in but just think about that are the thing that you are doing right now you're working in 95 job you studying some formal things that the government puts there for you so that you can be like a very good employee for someone yeah for other business think about this is this actually like in doing the same thing can get you like to your goals if it's yes go for it if it's not you really have to make a, a fate of jump and uh, find someone actually that can help you for me i if i give if i want to give like advice to someone all of my friends you know i had like a in christmas in the last year i shared my knowledge i shared my journey mm -hmm. to, with a lot of uh, great guys there in morocco because they've been asking me a lot yeah and uh the thing is i, I told them like that i told them if if you believe like doing the same thing you studying that shit that you're studying right now yeah. doing the same thing working in the cafes or uh, because i went i went like recently to a lot of places and i found a lot of students that i study with they were doing like some hard working like working 10 yeah. 12 hours and i i don't like that honestly i like of course i want better for them yeah i want better for them and i told them man i mean you really have to change and change starts from you starts from you inside you um again I just believe no one can make that decision to you. Um, but it's really good if you make a decision and uh, make it happen. It just was your your whole entire life. Really your whole entire life. So just to show this up, like, uh, think about this. Is you doing the same thing that you are doing right now can get you what you want? If it's yes, go. <laughs> just do the same things. If it's not, then you really have to question yourself and find a mentor really find someone who is doing the thing that you want be clear on what you want find a mentor and just go for it and i'm sure your whole entire life will change that's what i'm gonna say yeah i mean it's it's really just every day if you have big goals right now like ismail who wants to travel the world who wants to build a real estate empire i think that's like the next step that you're going for um, if you have big dreams right now, or even you just want to have the lifestyle, you want to work for yourself, you work on your own schedule. Every day that you consciously decide to not make a decision on uh, getting help, getting a mentor, getting the education that you need, but actively making a decision on it, whether it's yes or no, because thinking about it, you're consciously making a decision to not make a decision. So you consciously make the decision to stay stuck where you are right now. And every day that goes by, you will get further away from your goal of freedom. Because once you're on the other side, once you're there where you are, for example, um, you know, the life is a lot more, how can I put that? Like colorful or more, you're more in control, you're more independent, um, you know, you, you're more relaxed um, because of the financials, you have the financial confidence. You know, and, and you're just closer to really to living your best dream life because the life on this planet is super limited. 
And, and every day that you're delaying, if you're really serious about the goal, whatever that might be for you, whether it's hitting 10K per month, 20K per month, 30K per month, um, every day that you wait, you're making a conscious decision to keep staying stuck and it will put you further away from actually being on the other side, living your dream and living up to, you, to your true potential. And then another question is like, how is your underperformance, you not living up to the true potential that you know that you have, how is that people, how is that affecting people around you in life? Okay, your parents, you inviting your mom, you're taking care of your family right now, you know, all of these things. Uh, how, how are other people affected by that? And if you now say, yes, Marcus, I would love to do that, but, and then your excuse is coming. Then is the excuse. Listen to your own excuse, whatever that might be, right? If but for me is a key word, the excuse is coming. You know, um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the only thing I wanted to mention here to wrap this up as well. And then the belief, yeah, of course, if you don't believe that this is possible, get someone who believes in you, who yeah. has been through that as well, and, and just borrow their belief temporary. Um, because nowadays, if you're in a toxic environment, chances are you don't really have someone, uh, maybe one or two people who believing in you to some extent. But um, if you don't have that, things are just going to be super uh, challenging. Yes. Right. Super challenge. And I just remember something what you've been talking, yeah. which is like the, uh, like mediocrity and unsuccessful people is actually the selfish people because they've been taken just for themselves. For example, if you're thinking, okay, okay, what, the, like how I can, like, for example, if you think, for example, for me, for my parents, it's not just for me, it's for my parents. It's me being the leader, yes. inspiring others to help them, at least be a good example for, for my, for my environment in my, my country. At least they have, I still have a lot of friends, they reach out to me, it's my item, um, that you, you, that's what you do, what you do, because they still start and they see a lot of things, mm -hmm. uh, they're super proud and uh, they like what I'm doing. Yeah. And just me, like, helping big, I mean, we know a lot of friends that are in touch with us, they want to do this. Yeah. Just me seeing that, like, okay, I, I help someone, at least I inspire someone to yeah. make it, yeah. like, to jump and uh, believe in themselves, it's... It, this is what I was thinking about, you know, when I was started and me, like, when I'm uh, in the progress in my journey, I develop like, okay, so right now it, it's not like, I mean, it's not me game, it's society game for my family game. Yes. So I have to put more effort into this. I have to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just, it just helped me. It yeah. really, really helped me. Um, another thing I was remember when you've been talking, which is like the, um, you comparing yourself to others, which is, I think it's the hardest thing that you can do because I mean, everyone is different. Um, I saw this like in every programs, okay. Mm -hmm. People that went through the program, they compare themselves and as we before, even they make a decision because if I'm comparing myself to others, I mean, I, d I didn't even know, like for no, I never know like a closer in my country. I hope if someone is watching, just reach out to Ismail yeah, if you're watching this, yeah. <laughs> just reach out to me. I don't know. Like. Uh, I don't compare to myself to anyone. I just find out from my experience that's a huge disease. Yeah, yes. You're comparing yourself to others. It's not fair for you. You're meant to be something big. You're meant to be like something uh, different. You're not like copy uh, version yeah. to, to anyone. It's not It's not fair. And uh, someone, if he's an opportunity, if he's in a program, if he's like, he already made a decision, take advantage of it take advantage of it. It's not like just, oh yeah, I'm, I'm di I did it. I, I invest in myself. Yeah, you invest, but you just started right. We st yeah, it's the starting point. We just, it's not the end. Yes, yeah, it's not the end. I, I was unfortunately a lot of people think like that. From my experience with other like businesses, you know, I saw a lot of people jump to some opportunities and I think, okay, yeah. Oh my God, yeah, I did it. Man, you just have to. So yeah. the journey, it's never in it. There is no end like for this journey, I think. Yes. From my beliefs, I think the sky is limit. You can do whatever you like. Um, I mean, me personally, I'm start setting plans. I already share with you. Real estate will be like my next step. Yeah. Because I like real estate. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious to find out what will come after real estate because I know I'm not going to stop. Of course not. <laughs> I'm not going to stop there. So yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so amazing. You know, entrepreneurship, being an entrepreneur, uh, providing value to the market. I think it's the best program that's in there right now in the, in the whole entire world. Yeah. You're fight, fighting against you because it's just between exactly. you. Yeah. There is yeah. nothing else outside can fix you. If 
if like if you if you make it if you believe inside you if your reasons again it's bigger than your excuses and uh, you convince yourself which is your which is your mission for everyone is watching it's really your mission to convince yourself and to close yourself and uh, to make it happen to be the best version of yourself if and jumping like fighting against you i think this is the best thing that someone can do right now in my life from my personal beliefs yeah yeah also personal development and closing really goes like hand in hand right um there's a direct relation to that and and again like you said i can just completely like, completely agree with that you know if you compare yourself to someone else you're doing yourself a disfavor right because you will never be able to become a better version of someone else you can become a better version of yourself right um and and you are the best and the qual most qualified individual to be yourself so so that's also what what i always tell to uh, all, everyone and you as well like just be authentic like be yourself because there's no one better qualified than yourself to do that and authenticity goes a very long way and i think in the market there's this is this is missing right now there's not you know there should be more people that are authentic out there um and and yeah just compared to yourself from yesterday right um exactly. and this is the best thing that someone can do yeah just compare yourself absolutely it's you against yourself you know at the at the end of the day which is the, i mean this is what makes it actually like very interesting journey yes of course of course because it's you know it's in you yeah there's no like outside exactly it's everything is within you uh, it's not like Amazon FBA and you know you're dependent on Amazon or on Chinese suppliers that's nothing of, of not, none of that's, that that stuff is uh, applied here it's really yeah. it's everything is really on you and on yourself only that's what I like about learning skills you know learning yeah. high ticket skills yeah you can apply it into to every business to everything that you do to your uh, relationships to your uh, family to you know talking with family members you know like with to, to everything dating whatever whatever you can think of exactly you know yeah so i'm so grateful that i did it <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say and then what one thing to wrap it up um one last thing i want to say uh, or bounce off on what you said with you inspiring and you actually stepping it up stepping up your game and then also the ripple effect from that of the people that you know even if it's just you motivating someone to just become a better version of the self or reading that book that you recommend them or just stepping up their game to to some extent um, I think that that impact is already super valuable and the ripple effect that that's going to have on the other people um, in society and in life. And then also something to understand is if if uh, you're watching this here um, right now and, and um, you think, okay, well, uh, but I have to I have people that I need to take care of or something like that. Um, sometimes in life especially when we start with with business or on our journey on our entrepreneurial journey we have to be temporary incredible selfish and really have to put ourselves first um so that we can later on uh be incredible generous and take care of the people that we care about like you did with your mom now you're supporting her and all of that you know with the car and all of this um it's kind of like the airplane example do you know they tell you, hey, first put your own oxygen mask on, you know, then help the people around you. It's the same thing in business. Like first make sure you can pay your rent, you're doing good, you have, your, you have, you have your life in order um, and then care about helping other people. If you try to do it the other way around, if you, you cannot give from a place of lack, basically. So um, first make sure that you get yourself into a place of abundance. Money makes a lot of things a lot easier, yeah. gives you lots of solutions. Don't get me wrong. Don't confuse it. Money and happiness, you know, uh, if once you make a lot of money, there are still problems that you cannot really fix with money. Um, so that's just something I want to mention as well. So sometimes you need to be temporary, incredible, selfish to be permanently very, very giving. Yeah, and and doing the hard work up front always pays off. Okay, people who do the hard things uh, are kind of in the moment, uh, they have a very easy life. Okay, if you always opt in for the comfortable and the easy way in the moment, you will have a very hard life. Now, if you can say no to the candy in that moment, which is hard, you're not going to get fat, yes. right? Over a long period of time. You know, it's hard, but if you're always giving in to your, to your emotions and, and you're taking the easy road in the moment, your life a uh, long time will be very, very challenging because you will be overweight and then later on it will be super hard for you, okay? Maybe when you're older, just as an example. 
But amazing, man. This was a great interview. Um, really appreciate it. Um, there were so many things that we covered here. Um, yeah, I would say wrap it up. Uh, let's wrap it up. So um, if you're watching this right now and you are interested, first of all, we're going to be linking Ismail's uh, Instagram as well down below. So you can also, if you're in Morocco and you're closer, reach out to him. I think uh, you would love that. Yes, I was do it. Yeah, so uh, we will also be linking down below a link where you can go ahead and schedule in a call either with myself or someone in my team. Um, and uh, yeah, then we will have a chat. We will put together a strategy. We look at your situation, what you have going on, what kind of excuses you might be telling to yourself. Um, yeah, and then also if we might be able to help you. So uh, click the link down below. Uh, book, a, book a free consultation call uh, with myself or someone in my team. And uh, yeah, then we can see if we might be able to do the same for you than what we did with uh, Ismail here. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Bye-bye.